crafts. As you can see, it's pretty chilly here uh, because we're going into the dry season when it gets quite windy. We're also at about 1,600 meters, which is higher than Ben Nevis. Uh, so that has an effect on the temperature as well. But I'm gonna give you a really quick update of what we're doing at Neymar right now. So here we are in our workshop. In terms of COVID, um, it seems like the latest variants seem to have come, uh, come through this year. Um, the difference between this year and last year is that uh, we actually had it in our family. So I had quite bad symptoms and so did our little infant, uh, Julia. She had fever for about five days, which wasn't nice. Also, lots of our staff, about 25% of our staff, um, seem to have uh, some kind of symptoms. Two staff members had it quite badly, uh, but fortunately, <clears throat> we all seem to have recovered, so we're really pleased about that. Um, Tanzania, as you can see, hasn't got locked down, um, and it seems that um, things have just gone through very, very quickly as they did last year. As you'll read in our latest link letter that will be with your church very shortly, we've sadly been mourning the loss of two members of staff. We don't think uh, their loss was due to COVID, uh, but uh, sadly we lost our tailoring teacher, Molly Mubahabu, uh, back in January and in February we lost Fortunata Mwala, who was also a tailor and she worked from home. The country as a whole has been mourning the loss of its president, John Pombe Mabafuli, uh, who died of a pre-existing pre heart condition uh, last month. So our latest news is that we're training up five new deaf carpenters uh, that are producing new lower cost furniture made out of locally grown eucalyptus wood. And Joe Cheppelberg uh, is the guy in charge of training them. He's also a furniture designer, so he's been designing our new range of eucalyptus furniture as well. We're really excited that in our screen printing department, we've been able to increase our production uh, levels. We've now got massive screens like this which are going to mean that we're going to be able to produce really long runs of fabric all at once. We've also finally properly launched our new website, which Chloe Chattelberg, our marketing volunteer, has been very much part of. This is delivering our homewares within DAR within 24 hours of ordering, and the uptake has been really, really encouraging so far, especially at a time when our shop sales in Naringa are so low due to a lack of visitors and tourists. So far, cushion sales have been really good on our new website, uh, which has really been helpful for our tailoring department. We've got 40 tailors, and uh, recently they've struggled to find work for them. Ooh. Chloe is still looking for international wholesale orders for this department as well. So if you know of anyone that might like to order cushions, or bags, or wash bags, or aprons, then Caribou Sana, please contact us, and we'd, be, we'd love uh, to give you a quote for a new wholesale order. So I want to finish our whistle-stop briefing of Neighbour Crafts uh, by showing you our cafe. Um, this has also been really affected by the pandemic in the last year, but fortunately we've just about had enough visitors uh, to keep the place running. So thank you so much for watching. Um, we really hope that uh, you can pray for us here at Neighbour Crafts. And our prayer points will just be coming up on the screen now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.